Hi, I'm Andrew with NVIDIA and you're watching GeForce Garage. On our last episode, we really made the Red Harbinger cross desk shine with some custom LED lighting. In this episode, we have James Walter in the house, and he's gonna show us how to use some custom vinyl decals to finish off our project. Because as you know, with a custom mod, it's all about the little details. I am James Walter, better known in the online forums as James Walt One. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily create your own vinyl decals at home. Sometimes you buy parts that don't necessarily match the other parts of your build. Color, design, whatever the case may be. You can utilize this technique to create your own vinyl decals and bring everything together as one. So for the cross dust build, what we're going to rebadge today is this Corsair Neutron SSD. If you're going to rebadge something, you want to retain some sort of OEM look about it. You want it to look like it's something that perhaps Corsair, for example, customized for you. It's like a special edition of that product. So I think all we're going to retain here is the Neutron GTX. I do like the, the stripe here across. In some way, keep that perhaps here, move this down to eliminate that and have black. We'll have this green, have black down here, and we'll have the white Corsair logo. So we'll have the gray, white, green, and black. It all should really go really well together. To create your custom vinyl decals, you're going to need a craft cutter. The one I chose is a Silhouette Cameo. With it, you're going to need a cutting mat, transfer paper, any brand of repositionable 12 inch wide vinyl, a pair of scissors, a ruler, any size will do, an X-Acto knife. You're gonna need a solution to prep the surface, a towel to use with it. Don't use paper towels because it'll start to separate. You also need a, a computer or laptop to utilize the software that comes with the craft cutter. So for all the work we're gonna do, we're gonna utilize the Silhouette Studio software that comes with the cutter. We need to trace this design. We wanna retain the original font. So you wanna source your image, either go online, do an image search, or you can take a high-res photo. So I retrieved an image of the Neutron SSD that I'm gonna open up and import in here. So we wanna take what we need from this image and extract it with a trace and create our new graphic. So we're gonna to go to the tracing tool select a trace area. So I want to extract this and when you lay your tracing tool over the image you then need to play with the high pass filter and threshold in order to extract the correct shape. Playing with a combination of both you'll be able to quickly find the recipe for the proper trace and after you do that you just want to click trace and now you'll see there's a red line here. If we pull the original image away now graphic is traced. We need to focus on the sizing. The existing sticker, it's inlaid in an area that measures 50 by 70. It's going to come too close to those edges. We want to scale down our template just a little bit, maybe just two millimeters. So we're going to want our new decal to fit directly in that area. I've traced the outer edges of the SSD, so we're going to grab it in the corner so that the aspect ratio remains, and we're going to take it down just roughly two millimeters. As long as we're a little bit less, it'll fit in just fine. We need to create that GTX and the line here. I'm just gonna select the line tool. And every red line that you see on screen represents a cut. We also need to recreate a square. About right there is, is good. And then of course, there's another line lead in. I also extracted online just a very simple Corsair logo that we're gonna place right here. And that's gonna be in white. And this is gonna be our final template for our SSD sticker. So now we need to figure out how we want to do the layers, being that we're going to cut individual colors of vinyl. I think what we'll do is a overall white backdrop and a cut on the black so that the white shows through for the Corsair logo. And of course, this will be hollowed out as well and will show white. And then we will do a reverse cut and lay the green into the black to create the neutron face type. So before we cut, the first thing we need to do is remove the existing sticker from the Corsair logo. So any of the residue that's left over, we're just gonna use a solvent, in this case, alcohol, just to soak into it a little bit, remove it, weaken it up so we can wipe it off. So now we have our SSD with the sticker removed and it's ready for the new decal to be applied. And the cutting mat is adhesive. You wanna cut your piece of vinyl and lay it down onto the cutting mat. 
so it sticks and when it feeds into the printer, it doesn't slide or move and your cut is accurate. So the first thing we're gonna cut is the white backdrop. We'll use a larger piece in case there are any mishaps. So we're just gonna lay it down, line your edges up, feed it into the printer to load the vinyl. Because we're doing two SSDs for the cross desk build, we do need two cuts of this white. So we might as well do an extra for each SSD just in case. So now that we've got it positioned, click on the printer icon in the upper right and we just hit start and it's going to cut. And then there we have our four background cuts. I will just take my X-Acto knife and I will cut the excess vinyl around cut objects and then just peel it up so that all that's left are my cuts. Then we need to apply it to our SSD using the transfer paper. So I'm just going to cut out a uh, small piece. Peel your transfer paper up and just lay the transfer paper over the object and just press down to get the vinyl up. It'll lift up with the transfer paper. Carefully lay it into your lines and kind of roll the vinyl down so you don't get any bubbles. And then just press down to make sure it's stuck. And then lift your transfer paper back up. Now we've got our lower layer. The next layer will be the black layer. So the next piece we're gonna cut is the second layer, which is the black layer. And with the amount of detail and intricacy of the letters on both the Corsair and the GTX, definitely gonna copy several versions of this. Okay, so just like our original lower layer, I'm just gonna cut around all of our cuts so we can isolate the main shapes. And then the next thing we wanna do, since the Corsair is gonna show through on the lower layer, the white's gonna show through, I'm gonna remove all of the Corsair and I'm gonna remove everything that's gonna be green that we're gonna inlay. And just take your X-Acto knife, just poke into it and lift up and it'll come out perfect. Set your layers that you're taking out off to the side. You're gonna to wanna to be real careful in an area like this R, we want the center cutout of the R to stay in black. So we wanna make sure that we don't lift that off with our surround, which it may come up a little bit. So if any part of the decal does lift up, not a big deal. Just separate it from what it got stuck to and lay it back down onto your workspace. And we're gonna to wanna to remove, because we created that line in that square where the GTX is gonna go. So we're gonna to wanna to remove that entire area. We wanna make sure that we don't lift up that GTX. Okay, now we can see all this white area where I've lifted out black letters and black shape, and that's where we're gonna lay in the green afterwards as the final layer. All right, so now our second layer is done. And as you can see, the white Corsair is showing through the black. And next we need to lay in our green layer that's gonna go inside the neutron and inside our square and our line shape.
even though I'm using three different colors, the overall size of the decal is two layers thick. And to me, I feel like that's a good thickness. I really wouldn't exceed that because the sticker will get too chunky and might start to look not very clean in general and kind of ruin the look of your build. Um, but if you keep it at two layers, I think it's perfect. And when you look straight onto the object, it looks like a single sticker. All right, so now we have our finished SSD and we can compare it to the original and turn it into this one. And it's gonna match perfectly with our green, black, and gray theme. All right guys, the aesthetic modifications of the cross desk are finished. On the next episode, we're gonna show you how to get this thing fired up by filling and leak testing the liquid cooling loops. All right, thanks for watching GeForce Garage, your ultimate resource center for designing, building, and customizing your GTX PC.